Hey, how's it going today? It's 21st of January, Sunday, and we are taking a look at the market, what kind of patterns are available out there. Yeah, all videos is kind of boring, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I wish it uh, wouldn't be so boring. I'm trying my best making some of those videos more entertaining, but that's really very important things to cover, right? And, uh, and there were other articles that I was uh, considering covering that with really advanced future military lasers uh, achieve CKs first. Uh, so, so there was something with lasers, might be very interesting, I guess, as well as UK's government straits and UK's Japan partnership on cyber. That might be interesting opportunities there, but I thought it might be more promising opportunities, right? That would be, and this is something that we were to take a look at within this video establishing or process right so i'll rather focus on process not on some of the projects or some of the details right so that the process of what i was myself is something i'm looking to establish so uk experts c t v e t opportunities in malaysia so myself i see all of the opportunities there as well so how we can establish those uh, relationships and understand process a little bit better let's uh, delve a little bit deeper in this article UK, uh, E S E I and skills mission delegation in Malaysia on 15 and 16 of January to showcase how the UK can support the transformation of vocational skills sector in Malaysia. So perhaps very unique problem that we're looking to solve, perhaps myself, if how where to source professionals in order to take part in some of my projects that myself coming into this, right? But there might be great opportunities in Malaysia. Let's perhaps set this video slightly different, right? When it comes to doing trade and or investing in a region, or let's delve uh, a little bit deeper and perhaps take a look at statistics. How good is the established business in Malaysia? I think that I have heard it's at one of the best places just because how stable everything is within the region, right? Let's start from there. And from there, let's come back to this article. Again, that would be just myself uh, trying to find some information online. I don't know how accurate some of that information can be, but that would be best what would be definition for best uh, governments to establish your business in. That would be Singapore at the first. I thought it would be uh, Malaysia, but that would be Singapore. All right, all right, so Singapore, all right, all right. And from there, New Zealand, Denmark, Hong Kong, South Korea, United States, United Kingdom, Sweden, Canada. Switzerland at the top 10 and from there 11 Norway Germany Australia Finland Netherlands Taiwan Japan Ireland Luxembourg Estonia, but as well as it might be in some additional ways and all obstacles how hard it can be to establish or set up uh, your business within some of those organizations or uh, governments uh, it, it would be, uh, I don't know how easy it is to establish a uh, business within some. It might be a lot easier compared to others, right? And I don't know how accurate that is. If anything, uh, feel free to share your views. If you yourself are coming from any of those countries and how easy and how hard it can be. It's really kind of fun experience, I guess, myself coming into this. But uh, as of now, or some of the information that I have read perhaps about Switzerland and it might be easier uh, with the new agreement being signed with the new UK, uh, but previously it might be very hard, for example, so things are constantly moving and changing. Let's come back to this article, that would be the UK. Our seen skills mission delegation which features 13 selected UK skills providers and professionals charter bodies is publishing about the growth potential opportunities in developing of uh, TVET and skills in Malaysia up to 60% of new jobs that will be created and expected to be required uh, TVET related skills according to the vision delegation uh, TVET is therefore going to become changer in how Malaysia produces skills talent is further supported by Malaysian's government vision committee in developing uh, TVET in pursuit of its economic ambitions highlighted by the Prime Minister of, uh, there's a name there. I don't know, I'll try to chat if there would be contact information or the additional information how I can take part, right? Perhaps it's just a limited, and again, so it's just limited to 13 selected 
uh, again, so. <laughs> how I can take part, right? So uh, how I can engage if anything. So if we're taking a look at something like uh, AI or machine learning professionals, right? Any business would be looking to source those. What is the process to source those? Do I need to find out who are those 13 uh, selected uh, groups from UK? Perhaps that's another way of doing it. And from there, I need to reach out to those 13 and those 13 would give a green light or do I need to uh, cut the middle person and reach out to Malaysia first and then source individual and that individual would need to undergo additional training from UK. So I've won all the bases of the covered. I guess that's another way of thinking about how to solve problem in the least amount of time. <laughs> Can we discuss that, please? <laughs> I think I have a chat to this university uh, last week and I have point of contact at this point of contact as of now. I think it's looking to source professional for a project that we are looking to do, which would be great, right? But uh, it's even in the name uh, University of Nottingham, UK, China and Malaysia. So perhaps that would be a 13 out of uh, selected uh, groups of uh, qualifications providers, right? So myself, industry coming into this as uh, one that would have a problem. University is one that would be acad academia who potentially would offer skills, right? And then we need to source person who actually would do it. So three parties involved, if that makes sense. <laughs> but, uh, nice and easy, I guess. <laughs> Other problems might come from different areas, right? And if we're taking a, a look at uh, what and how uh, risk can be managed when managing a project, perhaps there will be some incentives of uh, how collaborative opportunities can be taken so the risk could be mitigated when managing large projects, right? And we could potentially start with the smaller ones and from those progress into larger projects. Uh, they're saying that there are a lot of opportunities. I don't know if they are. <laughs> <laughs> but I can see council members such as the Federation of Malaysia Manufacturers. So, okay, so that's a, 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 a institution there. Uh, with the, uh, I can put together a letter now. Usually there's no response, I guess. It's a, I don't know. I don't know. Usually it's a waste of everyone's time. So I'll put together now. I'll uh, reach out to this institution and see how we can collaborate and work together. Let's uh, we can put together a project. We can manufacture something. Some it can be a small project, it can be a very big project. Let's collaborate and work together, right? Usually there would be a lot of pushback. People don't know how to work together. <laughs> so I uh, I just went on this uh, federations of Malaysia manufacturers uh, organizations website. There's a contact information. So I'll reach out. Uh, I, I can share a template of the letter. I can put the letter together. But I'm interested in working together. People are there, usually there's nothing would happen. So it's, uh, it's just, I don't know, they would saying that we're looking to improve those relationships while nothing's really happening. <laughs> uh, so uh, I can take a look at the names, right? So most likely the people, professionals within this institute, and not necessarily they would uh, be understanding English language very well. So there might be some pushback there. Uh, something to consider, right? So the letter should, should be very short, I guess. And uh, we need to reach out to this organization, and or perhaps uh, it would be short sentences, uh, words themselves. Uh, something uh, myself, I would be putting very basic words, right? Not necessarily very complex words, and I uh, would not necessarily would be looking to be very colorful with the words. If we have very simple terms and something I'm looking to accomplish, right? So that's a challenge within itself. <laughs> the, uh, perhaps target audience, what I'm looking to reach out to with this letter would not necessarily would be native English speakers, right? So they uh, have asked, software did everything. So if anyone to blame, <laughs> let's blame software, I guess. So it would not necessarily be a native speaker, right? And uh, very basic words that I'm going to be using within this letter and reaching out to this institution, hopefully. I will have a response and the process I can sit down and have a conference call. Uh, that's myself coming into this. I'd rather keep things as simple as I can so I can improve uh, success rate. So if uh, success rate can be from 5%, most likely, increase to 15%, that would be uh, something I'm looking to accomplish, right? Otherwise, we're wasting everyone's time. 
itself if you're interested in learning more i have published a book that is a livestock enterprise and where to begin uh, how to start and where to progress and then take a look at more sustainable living uh, take a look at the finances and how to approach your finances then progressing from zero where everyone would begin then establishing a company to the first ten thousand euros dollars pounds and how you can uh, track your progress that would be potentially milestones while taking a look at finances which would be important but it's not necessary you can not necessarily measure your success by finances only but that's a good uh, place to begin uh, until introducing additional factors into consideration right and uh, I think uh, this uh, book would be a very helpful material for many people to have and understand about business. You can find it at your uh, corner, uh, code in the corner, company stuff side below. Uh, that was just an example. I, I, again, it's just for serious people. I, the, the content on this channel is boring within itself, so I don't think people are interested in wasting other people's time, I guess. At least that's not what I'm looking to do with others, right? Perhaps there are some people, all kind of people out there, right? <laughs> but just to say, right? So that would be a way of engaging with other research institutions in this particular case. Uh, that would be a Federation of Malaysian Manufacturers. I'm looking to engage with this institute and perhaps solve some problems. There's a number of email addresses, so I have a template I have emails, I can send uh, some emails, perhaps uh, secure a conference call, see how we can work together. Usually, there would be no response. <laughs> People are shy, I don't know, many things can happen, perhaps not native English speakers, but perhaps there's a lot of initiatives, so perhaps we can uh, take part in some of those initiatives, right? Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.